Good morning, everyone. Uh, had another dream last night. I uh, just wanted to share it with everyone. Uh, it was a really, really powerful dream. It was actually f a, a four-part dream, but I'm just going to take uh, what the Lord had given to me that really stuck out to me so I could share with y'all. I thank you, Father God, for each and every single person that is listening. Father God, let their ears be open to hear and receive your word. I thank you, Father God, that uh, everything that is said, Lord, let it be from you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So in this dream, I was taken back to, I would say, like maybe the era of the, the Bible days. <clears throat> and it was me in a trench. I remember there was a wall being built. There were two angels I knew that they were angels because you know how in dreams that you know that you know things like it's weird that you know that you know i'm gonna say it like that uh so the first angel was looking and watching me the second angel was staying in back of him like and then there was a third angel who was on a horse and he kept riding back and forth there were about ten thousand men behind me and they were ready they were giving the angels were giving me specific orders from god and what they were telling me is how they wanted, I was at the bottom, how they wanted the wall, how he wanted the wall to be built. But I was at the bottom of the, the I can remember being at the bottom and putting, placing stones in. And the angel was telling me how the Lord wanted the stones to be placed. But I remember me being the only one that was at that bottom, putting these stones in. And it went on. It was very hard labor. I can tell you that. I can remember it being very hard labor because I come from a background of construction. Sorry for the bouncing. But uh, I remember it being very hard. And after I was done, I looked at the angel and I says, all right, I'm done. And then the one behind him, the one who was watching me, the one behind him shouted out very loud. He says, all right, it's time for mixing. And then that's when the 10,000s of men began to have mixed the, the I would say the clay concrete with all the uh with all the straw and however they did it back then and then I had woke up but when I woke up I was in another dream and a friend of the family was there and they were telling me because I was telling them about the dream they were telling me exactly what it meant and when I woke up I asked the Lord I said Lord what does this mean and he says, it's not about the wall. It's about the foundation. It's not about the wall. It's about the foundation. Because if you build a wall on a crappy foundation, guess what? It's going to fall. So he was making sure that everything was built correctly. Everything was done to his standards, how he wanted it, because... When the Lord tells us what to do and when we build our foundation, you know, on, on things of him, guess what? That wall's not going to crumble. That wall will never fall. That wall will never be toppled over or knocked down. Nothing, nothing would happen because it's built on a strong foundation. And that's the word is getting the foundation, our foundation making sure that it's built solid on the word and, and, and getting into the word, getting into Jesus and just meditating on him and spending time and in, in building our foundation strong on with that, with that strong rock, you know, instead of being foolish and building it on sand, you build it on a rock. So it's strong. And that's what it was. It was building the foundation correctly and not, you know, and the only reason, the only way that we can build our foundation correctly is by seeking God and asking him and getting guidance from him and people who are like minded, you know, testing people, you know, testing people by their fruits and everything. This is what we need to do. We are in the last days. We need to we need to be on our, our P's and Q's when it comes to this. It's just like, you know, dot your I's, cross your T's. We have to be because time is running out. So I just wanted to uh, uh, share that dream with you. If if it stands out to you, if you get more revelation out of it, you know, glory to God, please let me know. I'd I'd like to hear back and, and you know, we, we could just go from there. But I just want to uh, thank you and for listening. And I just want to give all glory and honor to God because he he, you know, 
He's awesome. We serve an awesome and a, a mighty God. And man, man, oh man, you know, God is good. God is good. He really is. So I just want to thank you. And uh, um, until next time, like I said, every time I get something and God wants me to share it, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to close with a quick prayer. I thank you, Father God, for each and every person who is listening, Father God. I pray that they receive this word, Father God, and they start to build their foundations, Father God, in you using, you know, getting specific directions, Lord, from you and not listening to anybody else, any of the worldly people who, who are trying to manipulate them, knock them off track, Lord. I pray that they listen to you, that they seek you, Father God, that they hear from you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus, for each and every single person who's listening, Father God, that they receive this, Father God. In your son Jesus' precious, mighty name, amen. Have a blessed day. Until next time.